Hi everybody! This week I thought we'd have a go at doing a little bit of art. Um, I had a go at this the other night and really enjoyed doing it. So what are we going to be doing? Well, you're going to be producing your own picture. But the picture is made on foil. So the stuff that you use or your grown-ups might use for baking and things like that, this is it. So here's the picture that I did. I have to hold it at an angle because it's so shiny. You might not see it. So you see, I've done my favourite thing. I've done a beaver sitting on a log. And I don't know if you can see there, but it's kind of 3D. It's stuck up out of the top of the foil that gives it this lovely effect. And then I coloured it in. So they're really effective, but really enjoyable to do. So how do we do it? Well, first thing I did, I got myself a piece of card. This is just regular cardboard. You've probably got quite a few boxes coming in and out of your house at the moment. Um, just some sort of card. And then I looked for a picture that I like on the computer and I printed it off. And that just happens to be the beaver that you saw earlier on the other one. If you haven't got a printer, don't worry, you can draw your own picture. But basically, all you have to do, once you've printed off your picture, you just stick it onto the card, just so that you've got a strong base to start with. Once you've stuck that on the card, the next thing you need to do is cover it in glue. Now you might find it easier to just do it a little bit at a time, because if you cover the whole lot in glue and it takes you a while to do, you might find that the glue's already dried in one corner. So just to give you an idea, here's a piece of card that I got earlier and I've drawn my own picture on it, okay? It's a picture, just a simple picture of a fish that I drew myself. I've covered mine, you can see it's shining there, in good old double-sided sticky tape, just because it's easier. So all I've done, I've put all the strips of double-sided sticky tape over the picture, and then I've just peeled off the backing. So this is a really, can you hear that? Sticky picture. Now, just a simple one, just a fish. The next thing you need to do, is get yourself some string or some wool. String's probably okay. You probably might still have some from when we did the bird feeders the other week. And you just simply look at your picture and the idea is that you're going to go over all the picture with the string. And you're going to stick it down. So I'll try and do it this way if I can. So I'm going to look at doing that bubble at the top. So I've just cut out roughly the size string that I think I need. Doesn't have to be exact. And all I'm doing, I'm just sticking the string down over the bubble. Now my string's a little bit too long, it's absolutely fine. Better to have it too long than too short. And you hear my parrot whistling in the background. <laughs> so there you can see I've gone over that bubble with the bit of string. So now I just need to go over all my picture with the bits of string. But rather than have you sat there, while I'm looking at it and doing it, I'll do one more with you and then I'll put you on pause till I've finished it and then we'll come back and finish it off. So this time I might do, let's see, no, I'll, do, I'll look at doing this. Bubble. Now again, not quite long enough with my string, but that's okay because I can just get some more and add to it. Oops, that bit's come off. So there you go. You can see I've now put a string on two bubbles of my fish. There you go. So bear with me. When I come back, you'll see that I've gone around all my picture. Okay, guys, two minutes. Okay, so now you've come back. If you can see there, I put string over all the lines of my picture. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact, it's absolutely fine. But now, the glue on my tape, you'll still hear is on the bottom, but then the string sticks up a little bit from there. The next thing we need is some foil. So most people in your kitchen ask your grown up to show you where they keep the foil. Foil's pretty cool stuff, I'm sure you've used it before. So you need to get a sheet big enough to cover your picture, like so, it's quite noisy, not as noisy as my parrot has to say. So next thing you do, pop your foil 
so that it covers all the picture. Then, here's the fun bit. You sort you start in the middle and you just press down with your hands. Now, as you're pressing, you'll see your pattern starting to come through. So I think here, if you remember, the middle of my picture was a fish. So I am now going round with my finger and you will see the picture of my fish is starting to show. Still got to do his tail. But can you see that? Hold it to the side, you might see him a bit better. So I haven't pushed all the foil down. I started off in the middle and then I'm just using my finger and I'm careful not to scratch the foil because you don't want to break the foil. It's a little bit like when we did the rubbing when we were, when we were outside on Scoutland, if you remember, and we used crayons and paper and we were rubbing the tree bark. Oh, I think Cracker remembers that. He must like the noise of this foil, I think. So I'm just rub, 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 rub. Hard, but at the same time gentle, making sure I haven't got any sharp nails or my rings are going to cut through the foil. And there, you'll see, that's my picture that's come through the foil. It's really good, isn't it? And then all I do, I just tuck the edges of the foil over the side of the card, just to neaten it up, really. There. So now I'm left with a wonderful, what they call an embossed, a foil embossed picture. Now I could leave it like that. I could add a little bit of string on the back and I could hang it up like that. But when you colour foil as well, it's quite good. So I'm just using regular felt pens, Sharpies on here. So I think I'm going to do my fish a nice shade of pink. Why not? So let's see, got a nice bit of pink here. I might do him a couple of colours actually, or her. Could be a girl just as much. Oh, now this pink's not coming through very pink, but never mind, it's a nice colour. It's actually a bit gold, like a goldfish. But the good thing when you're colouring in on your foil, you'll notice that the string, where the string is underneath, it helps you to colour because you, you don't go over the lines. So when you're colouring it in, the colour stays quite easily in the lines. So I've just ever so quickly coloured in the body of my fish. And then I think I might go for, let's see if we've got, what colour is this? A red tail? Yeah, why not? We'll try a red tail. See if it comes out red. Oh, this, this is coming out red now. So again, I'm just colouring in really quick. You'll be able to take your time with yours. But the string really helps when you're colouring in, to keep you in the lines. You remember at school we're always saying, keep in the lines, keep in the lines. So there, my fish has got a really red tail. You can see that there. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do its eye. And I'm going to do its eye black so that you can see it. When I find my black, there it is. So what I did for the eye, I just did my little bit of string and I just went round and round and round and round. Closer and closer to the circle. And there's the black eye of my fish. Now then, I'm going to do the water a nice blue colour. So again, I'm just being really very quick. Colouring it in. And in the middle of my bubbles as well. And it's quite fun colouring in on foil. It's just a little bit different than paper. I 
and I know you guys would take a lot longer doing yours so yours would be a lot neater and you could use paints as well if you didn't have felt pens now I'm going to leave the lines the squiggles that my string made in the water I'm going to leave them silvery because I think it would be silvery wouldn't it if it was in the water and same with the bubbles I think I'm going to leave the bubbles silver because I really quite like that effect so there you have it You'll probably see a bit better there so do yourselves a foil embossed picture like I say it can be a picture of something that you've drawn yourself like I just did the fish or it could be a picture that you found off the internet like I found that one and I decided to do a bigger one I added him sitting on some logs at the bottom too last night when I was having a go with this so there you go have a go with that one guys I hope you have fun and um, again send us your photos if we can and we'll see about putting them on Facebook and apart from that stay safe guys and I shall see you next week okay take care bye <laughs>